Ms. Wittes' conduct is even more concerning. Ms. Wittes, if you're confirmed, you'll be in charge of distributing vast amounts of funding across the Middle East. Since 2015, the Brookings Institution that employs you has taken at least $12.5 million from the Embassy of Qatar. That's the amount that can be traced publicly. Just four days ago, the president of Brookings resigned in a scandal because he's facing an investigation for being an undisclosed lobbyist for Qatar. And he resigned because he said, I know it is best for all concerned at the moment. Now, the president of Brookings has resigned over this, but you ran the Middle East Center at Brookings. To what extent did you participate in fundraising from Qatar? Senator, thank you. I want to be very clear. I had no knowledge of any of these disturbing allegations regarding General Allen. Um, I didn't discuss research on Qatar with General Allen. I did not do fundraising meetings for foreign governments with General Allen. So did you know that your work was being paid for by Qatar? Yes, sir. Okay, so you knew you were funded by, by a foreign embassy. Uh, yes, sir. We had funding from several foreign governments, including the Norwegians and the Emiratis. Well, the Norwegians and Emiratis don't work to undermine us, and they don't work to undermine Israel. The Qataris do. Did you participate in any way in the fundraising? I participated in one fundraising meeting in, I think, 2012. And okay, just a all. second ago you said you didn't participate in the fundraising. Not but, with General okay. Allen, sir. General Allen became president after I stepped down as director. But you participated in 2012 in fundraising from the Qataris? I sat in a meeting in which Ambassador Indyk was uh, asking for a renewal of our grant. Okay, you published a report with the Qatari Ministry of Foreign Affairs logo on the cover of it, correct? Senator, we had a grant agreement with the Qataris to conduct a joint conference, which we did in Doha every year. Okay, the president of Brookings just resigned over allegations that he was an unregistered lobbyist for Qatar. Did you register as a, as a lobbyist for Qatar? No, sir, I never conducted advocacy for Qatar. Should the president of Brookings have resigned over this? Was he right to do so? Senator, I cannot speak to what General Allen did or did not do. Should the I same no standards knowledge. apply to you? Senator, the rules at Brookings were very clear. We received regular trainings on FARA compliance. I had no problem understanding the rules. Should the American taxpayers be concerned that, that President Biden wants to put in charge of distributing millions of dollars of taxpayer money, someone who has spent years being funded by a foreign nation who is not our friend? Senator, I think my research and the research that I supervised was conducted with complete independence from all of our donors. But it was it funded by the Qataris. On its own it was funded by the Qataris, and it just happened to so comply with their agenda that they put their damn logo on the cover, correct? Senator, they did not put their logo on it. Uh, you our put research. their logo on the cover. No, sir. Their Who put logo, the logo is not on the research. Who put the logo on the cover? Senator, of the report you published. The logo. Did is you put the logo or did they? <laughs> Senator, we co-produced a conference. Okay, so you both put the logo. All right, I want to shift to another topic. 